According to Oxford University, a part-time vegan diet can significantly lower your blood pressure and body mass index. We can do very well eating only plant foods. Author of Living the Farm Sanctuary Life, Jean Bauer, is showing us three swaps to get the meat and dairy out of Mondays. First up, swap meat for mushrooms or beans. We grow up thinking you need meat for protein, but there's a lot of protein in beans. We make tacos, for example, in chili, and instead of putting ground beef in there, you can put in beans. And for those burger lovers? You can make these portobello burgers. Instead of having a, a hamburger, just take a, a big portobello mushroom, fry that, you add some oil, some salt. You don't need to do very much. Next up, swap cheese for nutritional yeast. Yes, I said yeast. It tastes like a nutty cheddar cheese. There are recipes online where oftentimes you use nutritional yeast to get a cheesy kind of sauce. Jean uses the yeast to make scrambled tofu for cheesy eggs and vegan mac and cheese. Nacho cheese lovers rejoice. And finally, swap cow's milk for plant-based milk. There are some plant-based milks that have 50% more calcium than cow's milk. You can get coconut milk, almond milk, rice milk, hemp milk, oh my so God. many plant-based milks. <laughs> and there's something for everyone. Certain people like certain kind of cow's milk, like 2% whole milk. How do you know which plant-based milk matches up with which dairy product? Yeah, well, well, some of them are lighter. Like for people drinking skim milk, for example, they can try rice milk. For people that like a heavier milk, cashew milk does the job. Soy milk has different consistencies. Some is thicker, some is thinner. So that's probably more of a 2%. Perfect timing since Coffee Mate is unveiling vegan creamers in March. Making a meatless and dairy-free Monday menu on the Lowdown.